Okay, so for repairing your oven, you've gone through, you've assessed the cracks that you want to repair both inside and out. You've misted it, waited 15 minutes between mists and done that three times. Generous, generously wetting all of the cracks that you're going to be repairing. And you've made a mix, which we have here. This is just the same thing that the oven was built with on the first layer, which is a thermal cob. So it's um, about three parts of sand to one part clay. And I try to make this mix a little bit sandier just so you have less cracking going on once the clay shrinks. Um, so now we're gonna get into fixing this oven. So this crack is actually just going through the plaster right here. Um, and it was repaired um, by the owner. And I'm just checking it because I don't really know how it was patched. Um, and I'm opening it up a little bit. Actually, it's counterintuitive to fix a crack by opening it more. But if you get this V shape, uh, then you can see they didn't, they weren't able to pack it down in there very well. It was just on the surface. Um, so having the right tools to be able to pack it in is critical to making a good patch. And um, opening it up like this is going to allow you to be able to get in there and pack it in better. Uh, so we're getting down to the insulation layer here, which is um, a perlite uh, slip insulation. Um, we don't want to pull that out, so we're being careful to, to not pull all the loose material out that's in there, but getting down to it. And, um, and I'm just going to go along and follow this crack and do the same thing. Open it up into a V and... I'll re-wet this again where you see dry material where it's light colored you want that to be reactivated so we're going to wet that again and I'll probably lightly slip this also before I start packing the cob into there. Okay. So we've gone around and opened up all the cracks and wet them thoroughly. Um, you have two different two main different types of cracks. One is this surface crack which is just going through the plaster. The second one is one that goes all the way through the layers like we have here um, where we have the refractory cast arch meeting the oven. So you want two different patch materials. In a crack that goes all the way through we're going to want to use just the thermal cob, the clay and sand mixture. And then in the plaster crack, we're gonna want to add uh, a good amount of um, fiber to the, the cob, the thermal cob to make it an earthen plaster. And we really want the finest, the finest of fibers that we can get. Horse manure works really well. Here we have just a hay that I'm cutting up into very short pieces. Uh, the horse does that for you with its digestion, which it, it does better than you can ever do with scissors, so that's a good solution. And this will keep the material from cracking. It adds a tinsel strength. It's like the rebar in a concrete building. And you want to add this after you have already mixed your clay and sand thoroughly. And then you flatten out your, your mixture, add your fiber, stomp it, and turn it in. And you want to do that three to four times with one layer of of fiber onto your mix. And 
and for your plaster it can be a little wet also so it goes on smooth. So when you're doing the plaster crack patching, you're going to want a trowel. I prefer this, this style. And we have our material in a bucket close to where we're working. And we're just going to start pushing it into that, that crack. And I'm going to get a tool push it down in there as I work this front edge just to get it down into the crack. This is just a dandelion tool and if you have a loose part don't be afraid to take it off. It's better if it's loose take it off and, and add new material and then we're going to go over this um, but really the packing I find is one of the most important things in these to because it will just crack again probably would do the whole crack and then go back with this but I'll just show um, you want to put your pressure on the back edge and just push push it into place like that and that's what we're gonna do for the rest of all the cracks just like so this crack we're going to be slipping and putting just the thermal cob in after we're done with all the plaster cracks. as much material into that crack as you possibly can. Just keep massaging it, pushing it. <laughs> 